Hello everyone, and welcome. Today, we're going to talk about diagnosing atherosclerosis. This is a critical topic, as early diagnosis of atherosclerosis can prevent serious complications like heart attacks and strokes. So let's dive in and explore the different ways doctors can detect and assess this condition. Atherosclerosis is essentially the buildup of plaques inside our arteries, which restricts blood flow over time. Early diagnosis is incredibly important because, with the right interventions, we can manage and even slow down this process. Let's take a look at how the diagnosis is approached. Diagnosing atherosclerosis involves a few steps. Doctors don't just use one single test, they combine patient history, physical exams, imaging, and blood tests to get a complete picture. Each method has its own role in identifying the presence, severity, and exact location of any plaque buildup. Let's start with the basics, patient history and a physical exam. Doctors begin by asking about risk factors like smoking, high cholesterol, and family history of heart disease. During the physical exam, they might listen for abnormal sounds in the arteries, called brutes, or check for weak pulses. These clues guide further testing. Next up are blood tests. Blood work helps assess risk factors, starting with a lipid profile to check cholesterol levels. They'll also look at markers of inflammation, like C-reactive protein, or CRP, which can signal a higher risk for atherosclerosis. Now, the lipid profile is a key test here. This measures levels of LDL, their bad cholesterol, HDL, their good cholesterol, and triglycerides. High LDL and triglyceride levels increase atherosclerosis risk, while higher HDL can actually help protect the arteries. Let's talk a bit more about CRP. High sensitivity CRP, or HSCRP, is especially useful because it can detect low levels of inflammation. Higher CRP levels are linked to an increased risk of atherosclerosis, making it an important marker in the diagnostic process. The ankle brachial index, or ABI test, is a quick way to check blood flow to the legs. It compares blood pressure in the ankle to that in the arm. If the ankle pressure is lower, it suggests narrowed arteries, which could mean atherosclerosis. An ECG or EKG records the electrical activity of the heart. It can show signs of past heart attacks or irregular rhythms, which could indicate underlying coronary artery disease. While it doesn't directly diagnose atherosclerosis, it gives clues that can lead to further tests. An echocardiogram, or echo, uses ultrasound to create images of the heart. It helps doctors see how blood flows through the heart chambers and vessels, highlighting areas where blood flow might be reduced due to plaque buildup. In a stress test, doctors monitor the heart while it's working hard, either on a treadmill or with medication that simulates exercise. If the heart struggles to keep up, it could mean that the arteries aren't supplying enough blood, which often points to blockages. The coronary calcium scan, a specialized CT scan, checks for calcium deposits in the coronary arteries. The result is a coronary artery calcium or CAC score, which helps predict heart attack risk. Higher scores indicate more plaque buildup. Carotid ultrasound uses sound waves to look at the carotid arteries in the neck. If there's plaque in these arteries, it could mean similar plaques are forming in the heart arteries too. This test is especially useful for assessing stroke risk. With a CT angiography, or CTA, doctors use a CT scanner and contrast dye to get detailed images of blood vessels. This is one of the most accurate ways to detect blockages and assess the severity of any narrowing in the arteries. An MRA uses MRI technology with a contrast agent to visualize blood vessels. 
It's commonly used to check for atherosclerosis in peripheral and cerebral arteries. This method provides a clear, non-invasive view of the blood flow in various parts of the body. IVUS is a bit different. Here, a tiny ultrasound probe is inserted into the artery to provide detailed images from inside. It shows the thickness of the artery wall and plaque buildup, giving doctors a high-resolution look at what's going on. Coronary angiography is considered the gold standard for finding blockages in the coronary arteries. A special dye is injected through a catheter, allowing doctors to see real-time images of blood flow. Though it's invasive, it's highly effective for pinpointing blockages. A PET scan detects areas with reduced blood flow by using a radioactive tracer. It's particularly useful for showing metabolic activity in heart tissues. Doctors often combine PET with CT or MI to get a clearer picture of blood flow and artery health. Finally, let's touch on some emerging diagnostic methods. Techniques like optical coherence tomography and genetic testing are paving their way for more personalized and accurate diagnoses. These tools could help us detect atherosclerosis even earlier in the future. To wrap up, diagnosing atherosclerosis involves multiple methods, from simple blood tests to advanced imaging. By combining these tools, doctors can catch atherosclerosis early and help patients avoid serious complications. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you found this helpful. And remember, take charge of your health, it's the best way to protect your heart.